Morning from La Lande, everyone. I am just grabbing a quick cup of tea, which is much needed, but I'm going to have to run downstairs with it because today is a huge day involving sheep, which I think may be arriving right now, new plaster work, new shutters, and a chandelier. So there's a lot going on and I better get started. Not so fast, I forgot the milk. This is such a typical start to the day. Will I get down in time to see the sheep? I have bought some lambs and one of the sheep to come and help with the, the grass clearing in the sheep field. So they're going to enjoy a new field for a bit. I hope so. There's so much grass in there for exactly. your ones, so. I'm happy for them to join ours. <laughs> also, I think ours can do with, you know, a bit of a shake up, meeting some oh, new people. It's getting a bit dull. <laughs> this will work then. <laughs> These are the ones that were here for Easter. That's the, one of the ewes that was here in Easter. Oh. Um, she's come with her twins and there's three more lambs with her as well. My secret weapon. <laughs> An empty bucket. <laughs> oh, they've gotten big. They have. You want some? Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> you want some? Come on, then. Come on. Yay! <laughs> there you go. Who are you? Yeah. You. They're adorable. So cute. so cute. And they've gotten so big. They have, yeah. They're about, uh, the big ones are about 30 kilos now, I think. Wow. They're okay. bigger than a um, like... huge ram, <laughs> yes. Aloysius. Yeah, so he's a, he's less than 20 kilos, I think. He's, because yeah. I can carry him under my arm, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. So yours are regular sized sheep, ours are uh, mini sheep. You've got half size sheep. Yes. <laughs> is so curious. <laughs> I don't think he's ever heard such vocal sheep before. Oh, he's all excited. He's very sweet. He's not like Aloysius. He's lovely. He had a bit yeah. of an opposite really. Yeah. So I expect there to be a bit of bickering and arguing today just as they settle in. So like, this is my field. No, it's mine. I'm bigger than you. Now, goodness knows how Aloysius is going to cope with this. Who are they? Huh? He's shown quite a lot of interest. Oh, yes. <laughs> Well, I hope you all enjoy your lovely new grass. <laughs> They're getting straight to it. Can you just concentrate on the thistles and the brambles, please, and the nettles? <laughs> Not those bits. I've just tipped the water out. So. <laughs> okay, see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Look at that. All of the sunflowers that Kirsty planted are coming out. Yeah. This is just a temporary bed for this year because we have to repair this wall, as you can see. Over there at the very back, there's no capping stones at all. And here they need a little bit of repair. So as we can't do the final border until they're repaired, Kirsty did a temporary border. Lovely, lovely sunflowers. An orange poppy. Right? It's a California poppy. Oh. Yes, look, we've got lots of them. They were sent to us. They're beautiful. And they're really, really pretty. Oh, should we go see how Ian's getting on? Yes. Amory's managed to put up all of the internal shutters in the tack room. And so we're carrying on with that apartment. So Ian has come to plaster the whole of the tower. So we're going to go and see how he's getting on. It's all happening in here today. Hello, Ian. Hello, Steph. Yeah, how's it getting on? Uh, all right, you've got a brown ladder. <laughs> <laughs> got the ceiling done, so... Oh, that's looking so much better already. Got all the walls glued, so that's all ready. So I can render that bottom up. Okay, great, because, yeah, the walls are in a bad state. There are scuff marks, and I mean, scuff is a, a mild yeah, word for yeah, it. I mean, it's gouges <laughs> all the way <laughs> along the walls of the tower. So we can't paint it like this. And that's the base used to impossible. all be like Impossible. It's all be like Oh, yeah, there was actually no plaster to work. That's because the there needs tool. to be a, a baseboard as well. Yeah, the skirting just stops here, so we'll have to carry that on later. These cracks here, I'll scrim them all up, we'll scrim, and they won't come back through again then. Great. So. All right, fantastic. I can't wait to see it done. I can't wait to see you paint it. Oh, I know, that's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst we're up here, I will show you all the internal shutters are all in place. They are lovely. And they look as though they've always been here. Could my glamorous assistant maybe give a demonstration of the internal shutters? Ah. Really oh. block out all lights. That 
that just makes me ridiculously happy. And I've ordered the paint, the same Good. color as the window frames. It's gonna look really pretty, very elegant. And see what he's done up there. Oh, fantastic. So even the top ones, you've got little ones. And he's gonna add a little rod so then if someone's small, yeah. they go together. Yeah, well, like me. Yes. Because I actually don't think I can reach those. Let's see, I'll try. Okay, it's all right, I can touch it. It's okay. So I think anyone can close it, but it will be easier when they're attached together if they oh, open and close at the same time. It's oh, fantastic. This can't be the easiest place you've ever worked. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the turrets, yeah, I mean, flat rooms are okay, but when you get to the turrets, yeah. yeah. Well, only one it's... turret left to do after this one. <laughs> Is it a smaller one? Much, much bigger. <laughs> much bigger. Uh, <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dad. See you later. <laughs> it's good to see things coming together out there. And it's good to see things coming together in here because today is your cooking day. You seem very scared. No. As you should be. <laughs> Just has everyone hidden the garlic? <laughs> Have you already done all of this? Yes. This is very impressive. I will help and taste it. That's just apple. <laughs> mm, yes, it tastes fine. I will also help with this bit here. So, I mean, what is it? Pasta tuna salad. Mm. No worries from us, at no. Philip Cooking. Yeah, no, no, there's nothing worried. I'm not worried about the cooking salad. I'm just worried. This is the pasta. Yes, what are you worried about? Hmm? Nothing? Nothing. Don't worry about anything. <laughs> oh! That's a lot of food. I know. How many of us are there? That's why I said to That's why I said to Philip earlier. <laughs> How many, how many people have you invited? He's feeding the 5,000. Nine? There's nine people? I've made this before, but never for this many people. Usually just for me, which is for four people. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, proportions I um, am not very good with. I like to cook, but I don't know if it's the same for Philip. For me, Mama, Johnny, they are just... They're amazing. They open yeah. the fridge, they see all the ingredients. So many possibilities. And just create yeah. something just like that with no hassle, no... No issues, whereas I need to be much more precise. I need to know exactly what I'm cooking, follow the recipe. We're cooking for people that can cook. And who love food. And who love food. Yeah, yes. so Maria, Pavlina, they all create yeah, delicious yeah, meals. They do. So inside, I used to just cook for myself, for like 10 years, just cook mm. for myself, for one person. Mm -hmm. Then you're cooking for six, eight, yes, nine, exactly. 10 people. Yeah. So you're completely out of your comfort zone for just that. Some people probably say, oh, we should pull his away and help around the kid. Help I don't think anyone's going to say that. Old people will say. <laughs> I think you pull more than your waist. <laughs> yeah. About 10 people's weight, approximately. <laughs> because it's so warm, we'll do a, uh, a cold, cold dinner. Perfect. Does that mean we're having a summer garden party <laughs> we could do we shall we a tablecloth and i would love that but cook. first can you put up the chandelier all right for our so bathroom dinner chandelier yeah <laughs> all right you've just got your afternoon cut up <laughs> i'm just gonna go and uh, get rid of a few more emails great I'm gonna get on with my emails, but whilst I'm doing this, I'm going to leave you footage of an extraordinary podcast that we went to last week with Sarah and Steve from Manor and Maker, Simon and Vivian from Chateau Love, and Julia and Caroline from Lady of the Chateau Productions. And we all found treasures, but Philip, of course, came home with something. And in this case, it was a chandelier. We are in the lovely sunny village of Verteillac in the Dordogne for their monthly brocante. It's on the first Sunday of every month. Sarah and Steve told us about it. So we're hoping to meet them and some of our other friends here today. We're also going to be on the lookout for some treasures. This is so charming. Honestly, this place. What have you found now? The frog with an umbrella. How have we lived without the frog with an umbrella? Keep on moving. <laughs> All the bread baskets, look. Oh yes, we've got a few of those at home for the proving process. No, Philip, we do not need another squirrel in our life, even though he is absolutely adorable. Maybe it'll inspire me to start saving yeah. instead of spending my money on antiques. <laughs> so you're saying that buying something else is the answer to that. By buying another you know, object, you'll start saving. I, oh, oh, look at the oh, badger. Oh no. I actually love the badger. Look at the badger. Philip, please, I'm begging you don't buy the badger. I'm going to ask how much she is. Do not buy the badger. See, this one not saving. Because these critical things come into your life, right? like the badger. Well, you know, I would never get an animal stuffed myself, but 
when they are like like unloved like that if they need a home oh my so, goodness step away from and the you badger. allow me an actual pet so i mean i have to get my pet you have to buy somewhere. dead pets yes this is such a pretty town I mean, I keep forgetting to look up and look at the town because there's too many interesting, fun things to look at on the way. I'm quite keen on finding out how much the cockerels are. Oh. Ludwig and Spud. The cockerels were 150 each, which I mean, they're adorable, but it's a little bit too much for me. Yeah? I can't imagine that you can cook with that. I mean, I've never seen a, a prettier bottom of a pan before. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, it's beautiful. I guess it's for hanging in the kitchen. Maybe you're right. Like that. So why would you have another one? That's actually one as well. They're really lovely. It's pretty. The yellow uh, plates on the Oh, I like these. And I like that one. That's this lovely coat of arms with the foxes. I quite like her. I think she's got rather a nice expression. And I like her necklace just off kilter to the side like that. So I just spotted this embroidered fabric for a chair a that's fabric. really nice it's, it's really actually pretty. quite lovely colors isn't it you can ask how much it is it's quite simple simple mm. embroidery it's nice i'm sure we'll have chairs at home that that would fit as a yeah. little upholstery project our first purchase yes and i think it's a good price it's 40 euros. 40 euros i think it's a good price as well it's all done by hand i've done embroidery the before <laughs> oh the amount of time oh. that would have taken somebody to do i know now we need to find a lovely chair to uh yeah, to cover we probably do actually yeah. we'll have a little look at home we have bumped into julia and caroline Hello. hi hi <laughs> have you found treasures um yes, yes. We, we, we're not showing you right now, but we have like three more things in the car. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We so have a oh, the yeah, chocolate chip. That's so, at. so nice. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Uh, there's a scene in the film Chocolat where they oh. serve the hot chocolate. I need to recreate <laughs> <laughs> So you've got everything you need now. Yeah. Yes. Well, we've hit the porcelain table and we're going to behave ourselves. But it's really sweet. It's sort of hunting -y scenes. All of the cups have got different animals on. These All are sweet hunting too. animals. Yeah, they're fun. He's quite haughty, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Do not disturb me. I'm going about my business. Let's have a look at these. I think they're all different. Yes, each of them is different. So charming. But seriously, we're just starting to sell some things like this at La Lande to clear space. So it'd be madness to get more at this point. <laughs> what did you That's get? <laughs> it's beautiful, yeah, the, Vivian. The back is beautiful. Really There's his well. paintbrush. And he's painting a little cherubim. Darling. And here are the things he was drawing before. He's only just moved on to cherubim. He was drawing churches before. Bit of a religious theme in his art. And we've even got his palette. Isn't that delightful? It's still working, which is incredible after all this time. Yeah. And he got, got 180 euros. Oh, wow. I like his outfit a lot <laughs> as well. Can it compare to oh. the squirrel clock here? Yeah. Vivian, you went for the wrong clock. Yeah. There could be a clock for everyone in this <laughs> <laughs> I have had to veto quite a lot of stuffed animals, squirrels, frogs. We haven't found any hedgehogs yet, so I no, think you just blessing. need to embrace it. <laughs> you found something else. So this oh, yes. is a woman named Lucy Boucher, who yes. lives in Monaco, mm -hmm. who is considered a modern day illuminator. Wow. So she paints in layers, up to 50 layers, on a silk canvas. <gasps> okay. There's a I'm, lot of peacocks on that. <laughs> I know. You're <laughs> lucky I didn't spot that first. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Like, isn't this the most fairy tale thing? Yes, ever and seen? the detail of the women's dresses yeah. as well. Oh, Every corner know. has a look, little tower. They're roasting yeah. chicken. Yeah. They're reading. They're cooking. All the interior scene. So you can see the chateau from the outside, and then you get like a little deep dive into what's happening with the spinning. It's like a dollhouse. Good little yeah. gossip going on here. I think we made it like bandits. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> you and Philip are going for the same together. thing. And buy all the same <laughs> stuff, Philip. <laughs> We're going to fight over this chandelier. <laughs> So you both love this chandelier, and yeah. Simon and I, we're chandelier. not in love with the chandelier. Simon is not in love with the chandelier. Me he neither. actually literally kind of pulled me. Recoiled. Pulled me. <laughs> I, 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 I stopped looking at it. It's I not that it. I dislike it, it's just that I don't like it enough 
I think. This is one of those things, so we were just having this conversation that all of these things look so much better once they're in place. Yeah, it's and so true. And when you see them surrounded by all the other stuff, it's really hard to yeah, um, can imagine them. Except, unless you're Philip. The Philip uh -huh. can see exactly how it would look. Here we go, the chandelier is coming home to La Lame. Philip is a very happy man. Merci beaucoup. Merci. You happy? I'm very happy. Do you still hate it as much? I like the colors. See, I like the colors too. Look at that. I've never seen one that's peach. Have oh, you? Look how happy you are with your peach chandelier. Bye, everyone. It's been a good day. Lots of treasures. Yes. Yay. See you all at La Lange. Yay. See you at La Lange. It's sad leaving everyone here, but we know we're seeing them all next weekend. We're going through such pretty little town. It's so beautiful here. Look at the little church. You, me, and our baby chandelier. <laughs> Strapped so in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Is it all happening in here? Yes. I knew you would want to get that thing up straight away. Actually, the colour's really good in here. I know. It goes with the chair as well, really yes, well. And the bath. And the bath. And, and the little table. Yes, and the toilet brush. <laughs> of course, it is critical to always match one's chandelier to one's toilet brush. Yes. Brilliant. Love what you did there, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> of course, now that's making me look up. We haven't had a chandelier there for so long. I'd forgotten the state that the ceiling is in. Ah, uh, yes. Wasn't there an old leak here? There's a very old leak. Nearly there? Yes. Final screw. This. Do you want to give it a Shall go? I? Shall I try? Yeah. Okay, stand back from the chandelier. <gasps> yes! Oh! That's bright. <laughs> That's really bright. We're not used to it. We're used to having such a dimly lit bathroom. It looks good though, doesn't it? I like the fact that when you look here, you just see it reflected to infinity mm -hmm. in the mirror. And now we need to paint this ceiling. Yes, not Bruh. now, now, but... <laughs> <laughs> Have you changed your mind about it now? Okay, I'm still not 100% on the shape of the chandelier, mm -hmm. but the colour is really bringing me round. I've never seen a peach one. You'd expect a colour scheme that's black and white with touches of silver. I find that really elegant and simple, but it's much more unusual when you add brown and copper to that. You'd think it wouldn't work, but it really works in this room. And if I'm honest, I didn't do it on purpose. I had the bath, but I think it makes it a little bit more sophisticated than just black and white with silver. I love the touch of copper, and you've just brought it in a little bit more for that. Yes. Okay, love it. I'm getting back to my emails. Alright. It's annoying because I'm starting to really like the chandelier. I'm slightly too proud to admit it to Philip. This is going so well. Only 314 left in my inbox. Come on, final push. Guess how many emails are in my inbox? 60. Zero unread and only 21. Wow. I know. Impressive. I am celebrating tonight <laughs> with wine. Or cocktails. We're making mojitos. Really? Mm -hmm. This is like a proper summer garden party. That's the idea. Shall I wear the yellow dress that was sent? The yellow one with the ruffles. I love that one. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'll wear that. Yeah, this dress has summer garden party written all over it. Summer garden party. Philip, that is beautiful. That is sunshine on a table. That's one of my favourites so far, I think. Oh. Natty, oh, right. you look so nice Thank next you. to that table. Combining with the team. <laughs> They're really pretty. They'll be lovely. Yeah, fantastic. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hey, hey, hi, hi. Well, Pavlina. I cut it, I cut it earlier. Oh, it looks so this, good. This, this mess I did myself. <laughs> okay. It looks really, really good. You look beautiful as well. Everyone's so dressed up for Philip Pasta salad. There you go. You're like a summer fairy. <laughs> and that is the look he was going for. Yeah. I am a fairy. My name is Nuff. They call me Fairy Nuff. <laughs> Should we go and get some mint from the garden? Yeah. Come on in, Jack. I need your help. I love it. A lot of excitement about the mint. More excitement than I was expecting, if I'm honest. I mean, they're well excited for mojitos that they're not getting. <laughs> mint should be over here. Come on in, boys. That's fine. 
There's various different types over here. That's lemon mint, 100%. Ooh, that sounds good. That might work. Can that, I was going to say, can that work in a mojito? Why not? That's definitely chocolate mint. Okay, great. That is minty mint. Min that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a mint really mint. minty one. And that's a strawberry mint. That's so cool. That would be really good in a mojito. That would be amazing. Okay, you get like strawberry mint. Sprigs of each, maybe? Yeah, definitely. You hold it careful because we need it for some drinks, okay? You just eated one. I did, I eated one. But I wanted to eat one. Can I just one. say, I've literally just had a school report. Mum, I wanted to eat and one. And it. They said that he is speaking no English whatsoever. It's not amazing. Anymore at school. That is amazing. Two years he's been going and literally like my heart could have burst. So you're bursting with me? pride. Totally. Aww. Literally it's <laughs> total, total burst of pride. And then Thomas starts in September. <laughs> the chocolate mint really smells and tastes like an after eight. It's really chocolate mint. It just blows my mind. Let's take some of that as well. Okay, we're good to go. Hmm. I love this one. Did you use all the mints or did you just choose the spearmint? Uh, spearmint. Mm, oh, I don't know. I, know, I, I don't know. I mean, I honestly. Like, was that mint mint or special mint? He was like, just, just, just mint. Just the like, mint. Excellent. Yeah, I think it would have been good with the strawberry. We'll have to have another round. I think we have to, yes. <laughs> it would be rude not to. It would. It would be rude. I mean, isn't that excellent? Oh, it is. It is. That's what it was missing. I thought I was looking at I mean, it. I'm not really sure the drinking ability is... <laughs> It'd be worth it, you know. Like totally. Glasses on. That is literally <laughs> There's a whole peacock production going on here. I think I'm ready for the party. Maria, are we at La Land or are we on some glamorous holiday? Somewhere? I think we're already on the cruise. I'm really happy. I'm having one of those. I need to pinch myself moments. You look beautiful. I love this one. I really love this one. I think that for this table, it had to be this one. Again. Look. <laughs> I managed to match my peacock to my dress. Perfect. Yes, everyone should. Have you got a peacock? I've got a blue one. Well, yours should be pink and yellow. There are pink True. and yellow ones. I've got a spare one, I'll give it to you. And as it's an evening of celebrations, there is something else to celebrate. Well, two things really. Michael Potts has launched a YouTube channel. I'm incredibly proud of him. I think he is amazing in it. So please check it out. It's called Michael Potts F1, and I will link to his latest video at the end of this video. But there's something else to celebrate, which is that he is alive and well, because being a Formula One photographer is sometimes quite dangerous. And there was a huge crash at the last Grand Prix, and the car crashed five meters away from where he was standing taking photos as you'll see in his latest video so if you know anybody who loves formula one if you're following it yourself maybe on netflix then do check out his channel because he tells the story of all of the grand prix that he goes to through the photos that he takes and they are incredible i almost don't want to use the napkin it's so pretty with everything and matches my peacock so and my peacock matches my boyfriend it's my all good me now and pavlina's peacock matches her you get that right so, your peacock matches. <laughs> yes I, you must always get a peacock yeah. to match your boyfriend <laughs> always is that date like? <laughs> no. <Excellent. laughs> i don't think i'm pressed with the occasion people who are viewing will be very pleased that you are yeah just like this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look great. She looks well she looks amazing. Yeah, you do. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it okay by the way? Philip it's delicious. It's delicious and I think we need to give Philip an extra round of applause specifically for using everything that goes in the dishwasher. So oh, finally, tonight gets better and right. better and better. Not an we have a crisis. Well, luckily, luckily I've got yeah. two more. That is a success, yeah. yeah. You did make enough to feed the 5,000, so should we fill these up again? Yes. And drinks. Oh, yes. My mojito is totally empty. What about everyone else's? Nearly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Summer <laughs> garden, but... Strawberry mint. Strawberry mint. Strawberry mint. Next, definitely. I love the fact that we've got the little waffles and... Moringa. Stuck down on caramel. Caramel yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, rum and raisin. A lot of enthusiasm over there. It's a beautiful evening. What a summer garden party. <gasps> I love summer garden parties. That was a wonderful, wonderful evening with a lovely sunset. And I have flaked out before the others because I'm not a night owl. But I think there is a very fraught uh, game going on down there. I've what are you playing? <laughs> Pick up the sign. We're playing bad people. Oh, is a question. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you sure you want to know? Oh, yeah. Put that on the vlog. I'm so sorry. Just before going to bed, I have to show you this. Our bathroom is now just a little bit brighter than the surface of the sun. I don't know what wattage of bulbs they had put in that chandelier. It's so bright now. It's incredible. And the reflection is really lovely. It makes me smile every time I look at it, just disappearing into infinity there. Okay, I admit it. I like the chandelier in here. Thank you all for joining us for another day of La Land Life and our first summer garden party of the year. Today I would like to say a huge thank you to the Dauphins and Dauphines of La Land, Jacqueline Holmes and Ken Bates, Karen and Mike Hopper, Sandra Hawley, John Hostetler, Melissa Jansen, Vandana Kamath and Brian Kelsey and Phil Burnt. Thank you so much for your support for everything that we're doing here at La Land. And for those of you who aren't patrons, you're helping us enormously just by watching. Every time you like a video or subscribe to this channel, it helps the future of this chateau enormously. Those of you who are watching this in the live chat, I just want to let you know that we'll be heading straight over to the premiere of Michael Potts' crash video immediately after this premiere. Hope to see you all there. Lots of love to all of you and see you all on Sunday. Thank you.